This tutorial is aimed at HESC tutors who, um, who are going to be working with RSS feeds. Now RSS feeds are a great way to get content from other people's websites onto your Moodle page. The sites that we're interested in particular are Nursery World and Children and Young People Now. And I'm just going to take you through that process. So go to your course page and then go to blocks. So we're going to add what's known as a remote RSS feeds block. Okay, so we've got that. Um, and now it's saying here, click, click here to configure this block. So I'm just going to click on the pencil. Now, because I've already set this up, you will see here that we have three links that are all for uh, HESC tutors. So we've got news from Nursery World, uh, jobs from Nursery World, and here children and young people. So I'm just going to select this latest news from Nursery World. Now what you can do is you can, you can set this to either uh, no or yes. Yes will mean that you get a description with the link and no will mean that you'll just simply get the link. Um, the, li the, the description is good because it gives you some context of what's behind the link. On the downside, it, can, it uses more space. So in this example, I'm just going to click yes. Maximum number of entries, I'm going to change that to three. You can have as many or as few as you like. Um, I'm not going to give it a title. I'm just going to, which, which means that it will default and use the, the title that's been provided by Nursery World. Um, and I'm going to say here, yes to this. And if there is a, an image available, then I'm going to say yes. If there isn't, it obviously can't, can't pull it through. And now I hit Save Changes. Now when I scroll down, I'll see that I've got this latest news from Nursery World, the, the links, plus um, a short introduction of what's behind the links. And I can, I can go to the, the source site. So that's good. Um, I'm just going to do another one and just display the links. So I'm going to go to Remote RSS Feeds again. And then I'm going to again click on click here to configure this block and go to Nursery Jobs. With this one, I'm going to say uh, no to each link description, um, no and no, and just save changes. Okay, great. So when I scroll down here, you can see that I'm displaying five links, but without any description. And ultimately, that's probably a better use of the page as I add more and more RSS feeds. I can also simply just click and drag these across, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, and that is th that's the way to add RSS feeds to your Moodle page.